Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Uh, we left it last time. I had been out and started building up my um, landing pad. Um, since then, I've come back and I've played around with Amy, and I just, for the life of me, cannot get it to work. She just keeps going to the um, waypoint, turning around and coming back, and I don't know why. I've even tried importing the code again. Mode 2, mode 4, unload, finish unloading, mode 0, and then she's doing nothing. So she's obviously getting to this point here. Have I put the wrong size battery in it? Could that be it? Let me check what size batteries there are. Battery wild ah you're kidding me. I think I found the issue. How frustrating. Right. Where's the other wireless battery I had? That's that one there. See the difference? That one's circular, that's a small battery. That's a large battery. And Amy has a small battery in her. Bloody hell, I've printed the wrong battery. So what's happening, okay, I'm glad to sort this out, is she was never getting past this line here. Because a small battery obviously doesn't have a 7,000 watt charge. 70,000 watt charge. That's quite a lot for a battery. Um, that's why I was getting stuck here. You little bugger. So... Once that's charged, aim should go mine. Thank goodness I sorted that. <laughs> you see us, hopefully. Right, where were we? Oh yes, the sun's up. We can go back and sort some things out. Um, I can dump you. Put your pressure at. It's open. It's open. So we've got a little base here. Oh yeah, I need to finish connecting across there. What do I need to finish building the launch base? Screwdriver, four steel sheets. Um, and now I need welding torch. Um, there we go, so that's that built. Um, what I do want to do is, if I can... No, it's not going to let me mind though. No, nope, unless I've set the flatten. Which it is, Let's switch it over. Let's build a bit of a flame trench. Say flame trench, pole. <laughs> okay. And then I want to really, I want to weld these up as well to at least level one. But I haven't got enough steel sheets, so I've only got enough to do one. But I think I do need frames here, here, and here. Now let's go to more steel sheets. Not much cabling, I've got, not much cabling either, so. Set that going. Steel sheets, set that going. How's Amy doing now? Jumping over there. So let's see, is she going to turn around, come back, and then go out? There she goes, she's gone out now. Woohoo! Sorted. Thank God for that. <laughs> I've been scratching my head on that for about an hour. Um, how much steel sheets have we got here? 
do for the moment. How's my battery? I think I've charged all these. Yeah, and I've charged all them. They're fine. Cabling. There. Okay. Right, let's make a strong foundation for our um, rocket. And now I need the tower. Do I don't want to put the tower? I think I want to put the tower here. Hmm. Let me see. There or there or there. Or on the side. It's going on the side and it's going this side. No, I think I'll have it here. Might be a bit big at this point, but we'll find out. Do you do anything else to those? I can't remember. No. That's it, that's the tower done. I will need the umbilicals attached to this tower. Hmm, do I need to spin it around? Actually, I think I might need to spin it around. Oh, it's getting dark all of a sudden. Next, I'm going to need the computer, but while I'm down here, I want to... Uh, where's my fuel mixer? It's there. I need to wire this up. Come on. There we go. And I need to set up... I see housing. To wire this in. Come on, there we go. Um, rename you. Rocket fuel mixer. Um, I did have a chip on me. There we go. So I want to. Ah. Volatiles big tank. Oxygen, big tank. Nitrogen, big tank. All right. Let me just check something. Um. Temp pressure, so I can read the pressure, it's good, that's what I want to be able to do. So, laptop, where's my laptop? There it is. You in there. You can go away, don't need my hand. Uh oh, oh, there we go. Clear. Alias, yes, fuel mix D zero, alias, uh, vol tank D one, alias, oxy tank D two, um. Where to put another small tank here? 
I need to run that in to this network. Um, oh, come on. Can I run it past here? Yes, there we go. Alias fuel tank D three main yield load R zero fall tank pressure load R one oxy tank pressure load R2 fuel fuel tank pressure break of less than R0 is less than 50 kilopascals break to main break less than R1 so the oxygen tank pressure is less than 50 kilopascals so I'm just checking that there's enough pressure on these if they're fine and then break greater than R2 um, twenty five megapascals to main. So what I'm doing here is just checking the pressure of these three tanks. There's a volatile tank and oxygen tank is less than fifty kilopascals. We will just jump to here and run through this so it'll not do anything. And similarly if the small fuel tank, which um or fuel pressure lined and tank and everything, is greater than twenty five kilo uh, megapascals, we'll do the same, we'll jump so we don't over pressurize them. I could probably put that high, I could probably put that up to around about 40 if I'm honest. Um, so we don't overpressurize the system. Otherwise, um, save fuel mix setting 33. Now, is that right? Let me just check. Gas mixer. Oh, yes, I think that sets input one to thirty-three, and in this case, that's input two. Uh, that's input two. That's input one. Input one. Oops. Input one wants to be thirty-three. Cause input two sixty-six. That's right. So just set the fuel mixture and then save fuel mix on to one. Turn the fuel mixture on. So that, so the first thing I want to do here is fuel, save fuel mix on to zero. So yeah, so first thing I turn the tank off. 
check if we are less than 50 if we're less than 50 kilopascals in the fuel tanks or the oxygen tanks sorry the volatile tanks the oxygen tanks do nothing just keep rolling around so the fuel mi fuel mixer is off same if the pressure is above 40 megapascals if all three of them are not met then turn the set the fuel mixture to 33 and set a fuel mixture to on and then jump to main that's it it's simple as that i don't think i need anything more than that so what i'm doing is making sure that i don't get a situation where one of these tanks is empty and i'm still pumping the other gas into it and creating an imbalance so i always have the right fuel mixture i could put a bit of a program in here to check the mixture but i don't need by checking that and doing that it should be fine Let's confirm, export, pick you up, stick you in there, turn you on. Oh no, no, line 6, what's line 6? Line 6. I'll tell you why there's an error there, because I haven't set up the pins. That's all you can do next, just set the pins. So. And rocket fuel mixer, yeah. Volatiles tank, big, yeah. Oxygen, big tank, yeah. And fuel tank, small, there we go. My flicking on and off. Okay, let's just get atmosphere scanner in here. Pressure in there is 304, so that's okay. Pressure in there is 530, that's okay. Ah, um. Uh, I need to make a stand what it's doing. Yeah, that's fine. I do need to make a change. Come on. Edit. So, now I'm just going to put um, mix uh, off. The mixer off. I want that line there in there, and get rid of that. And then you jump to main. Right. So rather than turn it on, turn it off, turn because what's happening is just turning it off, running down here, turning it on, jumping back to main, turning it off, running down here, turning it on, jump back. That's why it's flicking on and off. So all I'm doing now is if run down is up is the pressure greater than 50 yes move on to the next one is the pressure greater than 50 yes move to the next one is the pressure less than 40,000 yes move to the next one turn the fuel mixer on on and i'll just keep running through and just leaving it on until one of these criteria is met then it jumps to here turns it off that should work yeah sorry i'm not a programmer i know i keep saying this but i'm not it hurts my brain right on yes good right you can go away and now we should have be slowly pressurizing this for fuel at the correct ratio which it is and that is a just a second buffer tank and used to do the measurements and it's feeding the whole system Hunger, and i'll be nothing aside because that's not turned on good right so that's our fuel supply sorted up to there. I've got electricity up to there. I have fuel up to there. Right. I need more pipes. And I need some umbilicals. Shoot umbilical. I need copper. So shoot. 
shoot umbilical. Uh, gas umbilical. Um, power umbilical. Oh, gold. It's easier, definitely easier with this being here. How's Amy doing? Actually moving good. It's all static then. So I've got power, gas, and shoot. Right, okay. Um, I think I need to get pipe selected there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Silicon. Set you going. I've got any walls? I do. I know I was going to use it and build something in my Sterling engine, but I've changed my mind temporarily. I'm going to um, enclose this here so that when a storm comes, I don't lose everything. So, um, I want a door kit for there. And then we need plastic. And it's welded good, so that's that seal. Let's need a door for there. Got a wall across to there. To the end there, I think I do. Yeah, I do. That's why I wouldn't let me put it there. Okay, all there, and all there. And I need two doors, three doors, because I want one for my base up the top, and a little cubby hole up the top, control room. That's it. Ryan, okay. Stop you for the moment. Ah, this is going to be the problem. It's a cable there, isn't it? Right, I'm going to have to quickly move that cable because it's running right along the edge where I need to put the door Some glass on me. And the crowbar. There we go. And now just. Why are you in? There we go. And this one. 
power coming through on that side. That's the closest power on this side there. Don't think I can run that in. However, there is cables on that side, so I'll do it that way. But I need some heavy duty cables, and I don't got any on me. Got you, got the umbilicals for now. Um, gas, pressurized gas feed engine. I need constant tan, that's what I was after, wasn't it, last time? Uh, what do I need for constant tan? Constant tan is copper and nickel. I've got 16, that's okay. There's a copper, there's a nickel. Temperature above 1k and 20 megapascals, that's easy done. Ramp that up. We go for one K. So it's now just waiting the pressure coming up. And there we go. It's constant tan. It's constant tan. Are you going? Amy doing? Is she still going? Yeah, good. You can stop, but I'm actually short on. Or what am I low on? Water. Let's check all the batteries and things. Batteries are 76, but you know what? I'm here. Let's change it. Um, change you. Change it, we don't want to change it. That's 100%, that's okay. It's 96, that's okay. 100. 87 is fine for now. 95 is fine. And 100 is fine. Um, that's pretty much everything okay then. You're 100. Nope, you, what are you? 96, that's fine. Right, close all them. I want that open. Inside an engine fuselage, okay. Hmm, I thought you placed that first. Maybe that's changed. Maybe I have made a change to that, okay. I've got to build all the chutes to come out here, yeah, that's going to take a ton of iron. That'll do for that one. I want that because I was meant to take that with me and I forgot. And um, fuselage.
Um, I'll just leave that around a couple. I'm going to need quite a few of those fuselages as well to, to build the rocket. Um, I do need a computer as well. Door. That's what I was going to do. Where's the door? Here it is. So as I said previously, there's quite a bit to do to get this rocket up and running. But it is worth it. There we go. Should be automatic now. There we go. And you. How the battery's doing? Just keep an eye on that. Oh yeah, I see lots of blue. That's good. Down there now. Like I say, I think I need to uh, um, enclose this as well, so just for now, as soon as I've got these spare. Come on, go to the top. I need another one. Hmm. You know what? I can get away without having that one there. He will become a wall here instead. Yeah, let's go for a glass wall. Plastic and glass. Are we doing? We've got one fuselage. I may have to go and mine some silicon because I do need a load of um, silicon or plastic uh, for the rocket. Just printed. Take you. Transformer. Should do for the moment. And you. So much to do in so little time. Oh, I didn't print any glass today. It's okay, I'll do it in a minute. Let's get the wall up for now. Don't leave that in there. Um, let's bring that in one closer to our base. big cables here because of the power consumption requirements. Um, don't want there, don't want it there. So I need the rocket control motherboard to go in there. Um. 
We'll cross here. So need to tap off back out here. So I need some more cables for that. I need a couple of cables to tie that in. I've got the computer tied in. I just need the board for that. Um, I have the fuselage on me, let's go and deal with that one. Right, engine mount, that's a, yeah, okay, that's a fair enough engine mount, so that one's a go. There. Then what do I need for that? Welding torch, two steel sheets. Okay, now where's my engine? Engines. Come on, why aren't you attaching? I'm very confused. Oh, there it is. It just needs to be in the right place. Um. I'm just looking at the inputs and outputs on this, so um, if I come up, let's see if I can hold this in the right place and come up. Come on. No, I can't get it for some reason, I can't get it to do it from there. I can do it from here. Uh, the input, you can see there's a network input to the left there, but there's a fuel input to the back right hand corner. Um, I want that. To be like so. All right, what do I need for these? A five insulated pipe. Steel sheets in the right hand. Oh, there's not got steel sheets there or not. Oh, I do. Uh, there we go. So I can tell you that these are a um, open cycle engine, which means that they use some of the gases to run a turbo pump, to then pumps the fuel through, and the gases used for the turbo pump just get blown over side up. That's type of tall. Anyway, we really sure you want to know that. Um, so this is the top now. So now I'm going to build the fuselage up. And the rest of the rocket gubbins has got to go in there. And uh, when I say the rest of the rocket gubbins, I mean there's a load of stuff to go in there. Uh, door. Where's that door? I'm sure the third door. I only have two. Oh, no, I think I only printed two. Do we have a storm coming? No. Oh, it's been peeking out of shining orange. What are you doing? She must have mined that area out. Okay. So let's quickly just get it to unload. Should unload now. There we go. Uh, we want to come out and mine some more areas, so let's just what's over here. Do 
27 minus 46. Twenty-seven minus forty-six. Confirm export. I'm just gonna have a look at something. Yes, yeah, so there's some volatiles here. So I might want to mine over here as well. And some lead. Not too worried about the end uh, nitrogen. But I do need the volatiles. So you know what? What's this? Minus 21, minus 15. Let's send it here instead. Minus 21, minus 15. And I need to have a waypoint outside the base. Minus, that's a 4, minus 25. Um, export right she just go and mine over there now hopefully without any input from me um what was i doing so i've got to build some more fuselage that's the next fuselage there i need some more steel sheets i need some more heavy cabling I need um is it in this one? No, must be a new rocket control board. Rocket control motherboard, that one there. It needs electrum. Okay. Have I got any electrum? Nope. Gold and silver. Oh yeah, I need glass, don't I? Do the thing I need. It's gold. Silver, and I'm going to need more silicon. How are we doing? Three megapascal, four megapascal. Okay. Uh, you're too cold. You blow that gas out. Get to two hundred. That's fine. Way too high already for electrum. Um, pressure wise, I mean. Stop bleeding the pressure out. 3.8, Boom. There we go. Electrum. Um, rocket motherboard. Oh, it's only 11 of them. You can stop. I think we've got enough for you for now. I printed that. Oh, I did. There it is. <laughs> Can't see for looking. Right. Um, silicon. What do I need silicon for? I need some glass, don't I? How much silicon's in here? Oh, there's plenty of silicon in here, so um, glass. I need silicon for you. Do 
glass. Um, and door. One oh, gram of iron, that was it. I need some iron. And you need steel. Okay. No, oh, that's restarting. I heard clugging away. Must have just emptied. Oops, that's too much. Coal, how are we doing coal? Oh, 71, we've got loads of coal. Right, um, you empty, turn you on, fire you up. One, two, three, and one. Remember how much pre uh, hassle it was at the beginning to have to go mining all the time to get the stuff you needed just to make the ores you need, and now I've just got to go through there and pick it up really. Um, yeah, so this is how things progress in this game. They do get easier, but they get more complicated, if you know what I mean. Okay, there's steel. Shut you down. And now our iron. And there's our iron. Steel and you. Do, 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 who need the iron? You did. For a door kit, that's right. Um, we need a kit access bridge. Let me print one of those. I think I know what that is. Um. Solder for that one. Come on. Gold. Need more gold. Um. Doesn't look like I can carry much else, does it? <laughs> oh, don't need more of them. Um, M -M -M. Yeah. I'm pretty full carrying stuff. Um, let's go and place some bits. First things first. Rocket motherboard. Why are you not on? Because I've turned you on. Yes, I have. Oh, I've got the power up here. Down, 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 down. Because I'm connected to here. And I haven't got enough cables. I thought that I don't want to get some more cables. But we are getting there. Now we need the cable all the way up here and up the tower. Fuselage. Uh, type 1A, 2... Right, it goes 1A, 2A, 4A, 5C. <laughs> fairing. Don't want a fairing. Mount. Type 1A. Let's go for a 2A. And then we need iron sh steel sheets and the welder, I believe.
Oh no, it's the angle grinder. Okay, so what I don't want to do yet is put the panels on. I need to leave space so I can start putting things inside here, like the avionics. Like this. This needs to go in here somewhere. Um, that's in the way there. I'm just sticking there temporarily. I know it's not attached to anything. It'll be alright there. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, umbilicals. Don't need them yet. I need to get the fuel tanks in. Oh, that's the bridge, is it? Okay, I didn't need that. Okay. Door. Go there. And I've used all my cables. Damn. Can't operate that yet because it's not connected to the other end. Right. So I need gold. I'm just going to quickly check on my gas and my um, fuel mixture. See how we're doing here. That's the wrong card. Um, they're 400 and that is 161. So they're still going. It's good. You are just come to 1.7 megapascals. So you see, it's going to take a lot to pressurize all this to get to the point where I need to worry about it. Um, I've got to set to 45 megapascals for switching off the um, fuel mixture. That's all going. No issues with things dropping out over here. No. Cables we've got there, 16. That will allow me to connect this bit up if nothing else. So I should now at least have pre um, pressure. Should at least have power up to here. Yeah, that's good. And you can go in here. I don't need you. Um, don't need you on me at the moment, or you, or you. Open UI. No rockets connected. It's okay. Keep it closed. Oh, cabling. I've got cabling on me, so I might as well use it. Oh, 
I could have probably built this rocket a bit closer, you know, but hey, it doesn't matter. Um, I think it looks quite good being all the way out here. You know, it looks a bit more realistic than if I had built it there. Um, that's quite a, especially if it comes down with a bang. If you cock up them coming back from space when I don't have enough fuel, uh, yeah, they, they leave a big hole in the ground, funny enough. Glass and you I need another door there, don't I? Just thinking, I probably don't need that door there if I've got a door there. Oh, what the hell? I'll build another door. Then they'll kill me. Fuel tank. Gas fuel tank. I'm going to need a couple of those. No, oh, it's got the cables there. Build a manual door there, I guess, but. Do we want a manual door? Now I can build a door. Glass crowbar. Now I'll put the connection on the outside, doesn't matter. I'm too fussed about that. running up. Let's just use the rest of these cables. At least get them up to the base of the tower. If we can. Very dirty by the looks of it. It's giving me a serious warning here. <laughs> I don't know what the consequences are being dirty. I know your morale goes down but I don't know if how that impacts the um, yeah, your use of oxygen and everything else. Right, that's all that done. So I think it's time to go and uh, take a shower. So. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today guys, um, I will continue this, as, as previously said it's going to take a, a few sessions to build the rocket up properly and get all the infrastructure in place. We are getting there slowly and I can show you how you actually use a rocket to mine in space. You can mine volatiles and um, oxygen in space but they will have to come back and go into the mining machine there because it won't, they don't come back as oxide or volatile ice. Um, they come back as a, like a dirty ice, um, but all that's to be done in the future. I still, obviously, I still got to run in the um, chute mechanism from up there. I'll probably just come straight across here into uh, a connection up here, so that can be done. This is now all sealed as such, so I can get this during a storm. Are you running properly again? You sound like you are. Yep. Um, 
I think I might push that up to a thousand, so it does it every thousand rather than every five hundred. Uh, it's not really, really important, but it might just do that, just gives saves a bit of time. Um, we've also got Amy working again, wherever she is. Yeah, that was just a bit of stupidity on my part again, put the wrong battery in there. How's she doing? Oh, she got stuck. Oh, it looks like she's stuck. 40 minus 48. Let's go and see if we can rescue her quickly. Forty minus forty-eight. Hello. So she goes. This is what happens when you leave holes in the ground. So now I've got to try and get her out without breaking myself or her. No, we're gonna have to open that all up. of a mining robot. Find a hole. There's a hole there, she'll find it and fall into it. Is there any more holes around here? I can't really see them when it's, it's dark. Um, turn it back on again. She should just head home. She's going to? I'll shout power. I know she's out of juice, so I have to take her back. Um, which way is back? Bailing in battery lift, what are you going out there for? Stupid thing. If it exports, you should just come back and sit here and just charged. Want to turn her on? Come back here. Right. Behave. Uh, what else has she got? Um, silicon, volatiles, silver, volatiles, silicon. Okay, she's got some decent stuff for me. And now she should sit there until her battery's decently charged. Right, where was I? Oh, yeah, it's fuel tank. Um, so that's it, guys. I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, please leave them down below. If you'd like to support me, I do have a Patreon page. Um, until next time, this is Dragonfire Gamer wishing you good night.